So you've been here about a week now. So how have the first few days been? Uh, it's been um, wonderful. I've had a really great time. I've had lots of interaction with people already and lots of meetings. And uh, so I've, overall, it's been great. Being the president and CEO, CEO of the Chamber of Commerce, your task with kind of looking after small business in this community, what do you think some of the strengths of local business in Lawrence County are? What do you think we're doing good? I think we're doing a lot of really good things. We have some really great businesses. Uh, we have a lot of teamwork in our community, you know, where everybody's working together and um, supporting local businesses. That's one of the things that I really want to uh, try to focus on is um, the businesses working together, but also our community as a whole supporting those local businesses. So I think that hopefully will be one of our strong points, but I think we're doing a really good job as it, as it is. So as far as your goals, um, I know that you know, presidents are judged on their first 90 days. What do you see as some of your goals in the first 90 days? Okay, wow, no pressure at all. Um, I have lots of, lots of goals. Um, the biggest thing is at this point, we have some really great events coming up with our oyster roast and our golf tournament, those sort of things. Uh, and, and really making those very successful, if not better than normal um, this year. That's a big part of it. I've got a, a couple of new initiatives I wanna try to get in place. Uh, and then the biggest, biggest thing is I just want to listen to the community and the, our current members and see what they need from us as a chamber and try to work towards those, those um, aspects. So now when this job became available, what was your thought process on why you wanted to be the president and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce? Well, uh, for me, it was a no-brainer. I mean, it's, it's just my dream job. You know, as soon as I heard that Greg was leave, leaving, of course, I, I was sad about that because he was such an asset to our community. But at the same time, I'm like, that is the perfect job for me. You know, I, I really love that I'm here now, and I plan to be here for many, many years.